Hey you guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods for Minecraft 1.6.1. And I'm going to be showing you two different methods with which you can do this. I'll be showing you how to inject the mod straight into your Minecraft jar file, because that process is a little bit different than it used to be. And I'm also going to be showing you how to install Forge Mod Loader and a mod to go along with that. And uh, this method can work for PC, Mac, and uh, Linux, so pretty universal all around. The only thing that you really need to uh, fetch the information for is where your .minecraft folder is, but thankfully, it's actually made a little bit easier with the new launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of Minecraft here, and when you are in the launcher, just go to Edit Profile, and you can see right here what your game directory is. And then I believe if I hit this check mark here, you could just go ahead and you could copy that, and I'm not 100% sure how this would work with Mac, but I'm sure it's a fairly similar process. Um, and then you go ahead and you can hit the X button here, and then, you know, if I wanted, bam, it's the same thing. I can just go ahead and I can paste it in there. So, anyways, the first method I'm going to be showing you is how to inject the jar straight into your Minecraft jar file. So let's go ahead and let's do this here. So what you want to do is you want to locate uh, in your .minecraft folder, you want to locate the versions file, uh, or the versions folder, and then what you want to do, if 1.6.1 is the latest version, you want to go ahead and you want to copy this, and then you then you just want to paste it down. And then what you want to do is you want to rename this. You probably want to rename it to something simple, so I could, I'll rename it to like 1.6.1 mod or something like that. And then you just want to keep that name in mind and then go into the folder here I think you can get rid of the uh, the natives folder here. Let's go ahead and let's do that And then you want to rename both 1.6.1 files to 1.6.1 mod And now what you want to do is you want to take this JSON file It says it on the type here basically the one that isn't the jar file You want to right click on this or whatever the equivalent is going to be for Mac and you want to edit it So uh, I think the way that you do this uh, I've already edited this so it already Already shows up opening with notepad but what you want to do is go to open with and then uh, whenever it pops up here it can take quite a while sometimes is that you want to open it with notepad so uh, it'll show up somewhere in this list and then you hit notepad so you don't need to worry about anything in here the main thing that you want to do is you want to go to uh, you want to go to edit and replace or whatever the equivalent is with your uh, with your uh, text editing program, you want to find anything that says 1.6.1 and you want to replace it with 1.6.1 mod and then you can just hit replace all and bam, you're done. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do this here. So now with that shown, I do want to show you guys uh, how it shows up in the launcher first before installing the mod itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start up Le Minecrafts here. I'll go to edit profile and then right here you can see now it shows a new one which is 1.6.1 mod. Now you guys might be wondering why do you need to do this? And that's because if you were to just install the mod on the base 1.6.1 installation which is right here, whenever you would start up Minecraft, your mods would get overwritten with the vanilla version of the game. I tried this, I was trying for a while to get a mod installed like this, but you have to create the second mod thing, and this will not check for uh, update, you know, like uh, updated versions of your version of Minecraft. It'll just work with the mod. So anyways, now what I'm going to do is I am going to go into here, I'm going to right click on uh, the executable jar file, now I'm going to be installing the mod itself, and you want to program, I believe, like 7-zip or WinRAR, I personally use WinRAR, you want to right click on it, go to open with, and then WinRAR archiver, and again, if you don't have WinRAR or something similar, then uh, download that first, and then you want to open it with, and then if if you want, you can choose default program and then find your program for this. Um, so anyways, I'm going to open it with WinRAR Archiver, um, exit out of the little message that comes up, and from here it's pretty much the same as you would expect. So let me just go ahead and let me uh, delete meta inf here, uh, it's going to take a little bit. And then I'm going to open up a mod that I already have downloaded and extracted, which is the Roguelike Dungeons mod. I'm going to hit Control A, copy everything from here, and then just drag it in. There we go. Let's go ahead and let's do that. So now, the mod is installed, so let's go ahead and let's uh, exit out of WinRAR here, let's go back into Minecraft, and uh, let's just see here, so hit play, oh no, no, wow, I, I, to I failed on my own process there, let's go ahead and let's get to edit, and then change the version to release 1.6.1, don't forget to do that, because otherwise you're just starting up vanilla. 
So anyways, let's go ahead and let's do this here. And now what I'm going to do, just to prove to you guys the mod worked, I'm going to go to world type here. And it, as you can see here, it says generator dungeons. And I'll start up a world very quickly. It's going to be a little bit laggy, I believe. But uh, we'll start up the world nonetheless. If it will start while I'm capturing video with the method with which I'm doing it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's fly up here. Yeah, so as you can see there, a dungeon has been spawned and thus the mod is working. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of the Minecrafts here. And let's go ahead and let's exit out of the uh, the launcher. And now, what what you want to do if you want to install a, a Forge mod loader, you go to the website files.minecraftforge.net. And the way that I'm going to be showing you how to do it is using the installer here. So what you do is you go again go to files.minecraftforge.net, find the latest 1.6.1 or whatever version you're using. You can even just you know download from this one right here. And then you want to click on the installer file and then just go ahead and download it to your desktop or whatever because it is an executable file. So anyways, all right, so let's go and let's do that. And I also believe this file will work on uh, Mac and uh, Linux as well because, again, it is a Java file, not an actual EXE file. So now that I have it installed here, I have it on the desktop right here. You just want to go ahead and double click on it here. And uh, I'll even keep the versions folder open so you can see what happens here. So if you want to install it for the client, you want to install it for the server, or if you want to install, you know, extract it to install it manually, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to install it for the client here and then just hit OK. And boom, it is done. And as you can see here, it, within the blink of an eye, it has created a new folder called Forge 8.9.0.768. And this has installed Forge. So now I'm going to install a mod with Forge. And the way that you do that is you just place them into the mods folder. Um, I already have a bunch of things going on here. This 1.5 folder is just old mods that I have because I don't want to delete them. Um, so to install the mods... Um, yeah, as you can see, I just deleted that there, but to install the mod, you just take it from wherever, drag it, and drop it, and that's all that takes. So now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start up Minecraft with this. I'll go to Edit Profile again, and then I'll hit Release Forge 8.9.0.768. Hit Save Profile, hit Play, and then we wait a little bit because uh, it's doing stuff, I guess. We're just waiting for it to compile everything the way that it needs to. And then it will launch and it will be awesome and super dandy and stuff. And yeah, so as you can see here, if I go ahead and let me just uh, maximize this here. As you can see, mods... Uh, if I go ahead and I click that, you can see that th this whole mods list is there because of Forge Mod Loader. And now we have Ray's Minimap installed. So let me go ahead and let me go into just a quick single player here and show you guys that the minimap itself does work. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's wait here. Bam! Minimap on the top right. And that is how to install mods in a nutshell with Minecraft 1.6.1. I'm sure there are other methods with which you can do this, but these are two of the most common methods that you're going to need to know. If you know how to install these, then chances are you're going to be able to learn how to install any mod that you would want to. So yeah, and did I just make a four block jump without even trying? That's right, chicken! That's right, chicken! Uh, uh. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this little tutorial guide on how to install mods from Minecraft 1.6.1. My name is Ant Venom, as always, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.